Disneyland Resort, at Disney California Adventure, at the Redwood Creek Trail, or am I at Silverwood Lake? Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Please excuse the wind noise, it is a little bit breezy up here today, but we have made it to Silverwood Lake in San Bernardino County. It is so beautiful here. We've never been here before. So we're gonna kind of hike around and see if we can find a spot that we're happy with, and then we'll show you some more. All right, so we've finally gotten down to where we wanted to be, right by the water. But it has been a challenge for us. So when we first got here, obviously we've never been here before, and this is a really big place. There are multiple parking lots. There's specific parking lots just for boats. And then there is parking lot number one, two, and three. We ended up parking in parking lot number three because the others were full. And even this parking lot was very close to being full. But luckily we were able to find a spot. We were provided a map. So we tried to look on the map and figure out the trail down to the water. <laughs> we believed it was the trail that runs all the way over along that side. So that is what we followed all the way down. And it made it down to the lake, except there was about a 15 to 20 foot section of trees, brush, um, including poison ivy that you had to go poison through. Poison oak. Oh, poison oak. Yeah. That you had to go through in order to get down to the lake. So we realized this was not the right way. It was actually just a hiking trail that was going to take you around the lake. So we had to regroup, go back to the car, figure out where we really needed to go. We found some people along the way that helped us out, but we found a nice little trail, a shortcut down to the water. We met a lovely family here who has let us share their shade, and we have a beautiful view of the lake right there. <laughs> yeah, this nice guy right here. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> so now we're gonna have a delicious watermelon snack and then some lunch, and then we're gonna do a little exploring. So what do you call us here at Silverwood Lake? We are Silverwood Lake rookies. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> It's a nice reservoir mountain lake and anywhere you go, you've got to get through the oak. So we've hiked up through here, we're heading around to the lake. And there's plenty of bathrooms along the way. As I stand here in this chilly lake, I want to provide you with a little bit of that information about it, but first I want to apologize again for the wind. It is really, really breezy here today, which makes it feel wonderful because it cools it down for us, but I know it makes it hard on your hearing, so I hope you can hear it okay. But I did want to tell you, I'm just going to give you a little bit of information off the top of my head. I know this is a man-made lake and it was created in 1971. It flows off of the Mojave River and it is at 3,355 feet is the, the elevation. Um, I don't know exactly the size of the lake or how much water is here, but I do know that it sits on the eastern side of the California Aqueduct. If you can see way off in the distance, there's actually still a little bit of snow up there. Alright, so I want to give you a little information about how to get here. So you're going to head north on the 15 freeway toward Hesperia, and you're going to get off on the 138 and you're going to turn right. You're going to take that for about seven to eight miles. You're just going to follow the road until you get to a sign that says Silverwood Lake and you're going to turn off to the left. From there, you'll just follow the signs and it'll take you right to the ranger station where you can pay to come in. So if you're coming in for day use, it is $10 per vehicle. If you have someone with you who's over 62 years of age, they get a senior discount. So that makes it only $9 a day. If you want to launch a boat, it's $10 a day for day use. But if you do want to come and camp here, they do have campsites here. It's $50 for campsites with hookups, $45 without hookups. And on those, you get a $2 discount if you're over 62 years of age. If you bring an additional vehicle with you while you're camping, that is $10 a day. And if you just want to come in and hike or bike, 
it's five dollars a day so it's very very reasonable to come here obviously a lot of people are here making use of it today it's a beautiful beautiful day and it's a wonderful place to come with your family <laughs> Again, we apologize for the wind, but it, this area is where you can come for rentals. So you can rent a locker, you can rent a pedal boat. If you want a two-person pedal boat for one hour, it's $23 an hour, and it goes up from there. If you want to rent a pedal boat for four people, it's $38 a person. That's a long time, though, to pedal around for an hour. You'd probably be tired after an hour, but you can even have them for all day if you want. They have jet ski rentals for $99 an hour or $169 for two hours. They also have kayaks. If you want a one person kayak, it's $18 for an hour. And if you want a two person kayak, it's $23 an hour. And then it goes up from there if you want to keep them longer. But that's really cool that they have all of these rentals available. Right behind me, these are the jet skis for rent. It looks like they only have one two-person paddle boat available for rent today. The rest of them are out on the lake somewhere, but over here we still have a lot of the four-person paddle boats available and a couple of kayaks down there at the end. There's definitely still snow melting somewhere because this water is melting and flowing down into the lake and it is ice cold. It says there's no lifeguard on duty even though they have a lifeguard tower here, but there isn't one here at this tower for sure. However, as we've been walking around, we have seen lifeguards walking around with their buoys just in case, so at least it is nice that they kind of are walking the edges of the waters. We've come to another part of the lake and I just want to tell you the mountain air is so clean and so wonderful here. It is like just breathing fresh air the whole time we're here. The other thing that's been really amazing is we've really hiked around a lot of places and we've passed a lot of people's camps. You know, everywhere out here, people are just kind of set up off to the side, sometimes by the water, sometimes away from the water. But it is really family friendly. Everywhere we've walked, people just say hi and they wave when you walk by. It's just a really, really wonderful, positive, family-friendly place to come and visit. We've made it back to our car. This is parking lot number three. So if you come here, make sure you are prepared to hike for one to two miles minimum. From parking lot three, it's at least a mile down to the lake, and then if you want to walk around at all, it's probably another mile or so to get to another section of the lake. If you can get in parking lot one or two, it's much closer to the lake, but still be prepared because we got here fairly early and parking lot one and two, and almost parking lot three even was full, but at least we did find a spot. Also make sure you bring food and water because you get thirsty while you're hiking, plus while you're here, there's not a lot of food places you're going to want a snack or maybe even have some lunch. So Bill brought some stuff for us to make sandwiches. Of course, we had our delicious refreshing watermelon and plenty of water and plenty of juice. We are going to end our video here, even though this might not be the actual end of our video. But we're going to end it here just in case. The reason for that is we're getting ready to head home, but we're going to take the mountain route instead of heading back to the 15 freeway. There was a big rig fire late last night and the freeway is still backed up. It's about one to two hours of traffic that we would have to sit in if we went that way. So we're going to avoid that and we're going to take a beautiful scenic ride home. If we find anywhere to stop along the way, we'll stop off and film it for you. But if we don't, we're just going to cruise on home and then that would be the end of our video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get an opportunity to come up here if you live locally and visit this lake because it's really lovely. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!